let's go back in time. I'm talking way back. How about 65 million years ago when the last of the dinosaurs disappeared from the earth? But you can take a short trip into New Jersey and be transported right back to that era. Matt King did it, and here's what he saw. Hi, Brooke. No. Um, just a little bit of a setback. I, I do seem to have misplaced our T-Rex. Behind walls built concerningly low and lean for what they keep inside on a cloudless night full of short-armed terrors in Leonia, New Jersey, a mob of small paleontologists venture off into the darkness, armed with only torches and the wavering faith that what they hunt went extinct 65 and a half million years ago. They find the dinosaurs. With a park full of Triceratops, Stegosaurus. This is the Comsignathus. And 30 other dinos under his jurisdiction, Field Station Dinosaurs executive producer Guy Gazelle realized earlier this fall he could offer those born way after their time a one-of-a-kind nighttime educational adventure every Friday and Saturday through Halloween. There is a whole group of kids who are too young for zombies, too young for all the blood and guts. I love candy. While unfamiliar with their physical surroundings, six-year-old Luke Scalero and his three-year-old brother Will needed no help identifying the toothy creatures their flashlights pulled from the Jersey night. I found one! Through raptor mazes, boardwalk games, and interactive lectures, Will, Luke, and their fellow adventurers scanned the brush for signs of an escaped adolescent Tyrannosaurus Rex. Park rangers tasked them with finding the dead dinosaur. Luke enjoyed one of those clues more than any other portion of his two-hour Dinos After Dark experience. This kill led every other portion of the evening in Luke's rankings and led our expedition down a winding path to a dino that would test everything our fearless explorers had ever learned, read, or heard about the supposed extinction of their favorite animals. We have kids who range from just hysterical laughing and having fun with it to kids who are uh, so scared of it that we have to make the dinosaur like a big friendly dog and let the kids pet the dinosaur. I backed away. So I shined the light in his face. After this, Dino's demeanor softens and his discoverers reaffirm the fact that dinosaurs no longer exist. All parties sit indoors for a Jurassic musical. Dinosaur dynamite. Dinosaur dynamite. While the field station's full time residents skulk about in the darkness just outside. Pretty scary. In Leonia, New Jersey, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.